What a remarkable career. The Eagles saying it best, an amazing NFL career, 70 career sacks, fifth most in Eagles history. And how about missing just six games over 12 NFL seasons? Fletcher Cox joins us here on NFL Total Access. Congratulations, man, on the retirement. I feel like every Friday when Brian Baldinger and I were doing Total Access, Baldy was loving you up. This dude can still compete. He can still wreak havoc. Explain to me, even as a productive player last season, why you decided to call it quits. Man, it was just time, you know. I wanted it to, uh, you know, like I said in my message, I gave everything I had. And it's always, you know, gave it back to me. So um, I respect the game. And to me, I felt like it was just time for me to, to hang him up. But you're, you're always going to be an eagle for the rest of your life. But... You're going to get a phone call, Fletch. You're going to get phone calls in August when guys start getting hurt. They're going to call and just see, hey, you know, they're going to see, Fletch, are you still, you, you know, you got a couple of sacks left in you? Um, what are you going to do when that phone call rings, Fletch? Because yeah. they're going to tease you now. It's going to happen. The answer is going to be no. Uh, okay. I, I know, like, um, for me, what's important is uh, my message was strong. Uh, it came from the heart. And my biggest thing is I don't think I can, you know, prepare myself to write that message twice. Um, and, you know, and, you know, and that, that was part of my decision and making sure I didn't regret it, uh, making sure I wasn't making the wrong decision, making sure I was making the right decision for me, you know, mentally and physically. Um, but, you know, the answer to that is going to be no. Um, so, so, yeah, I don't, I don't plan on writing that message twice. Uh, Fletcher, I can certainly understand why that message is going to be no. 188 career games played. That is a lot of wear and tear on your body. I'm thinking about legacy. Clearly, you're one of the all-time greats to wear that uniform. But what are you most proud of with regard to your time in Philadelphia? You know, the biggest thing I'm proud of is, uh, number one, is, is bringing, that, bringing that, the city a, a world championship. But number two is Mr. Lurie and Howie just keeping me around for 12 whole years. I um, mean, and that's special. Um, not many players can say that they played for the team that they were drafted with and retire with that team. I um, mean, I'm, I'm able to step out and, and poke my chest out and say I did that. Uh, I'm, I'm super proud of that. I appreciate them a lot. They always treated me well, respected me, and I, and I always did the same. So that's that's really what I'm proud of. Fletch, I remember the day. I was at Novacare the day you were drafted. The Eagles traded up to take you out of Mississippi State. I, 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 maybe the 13th pick, Fletch, I'm a little bit, can't remember quite like that. But it, it's gone by fast. But I think part of the reason why you were an Eagle for all 12 years, Fletcher, and why – they still would want you back this year is a the way that you took care of yourself. You look exactly the same to me today as you did 12 years ago, but like you did, you didn't have the injuries, Fletcher. You, you took care of yourself. You never had a weight, uh, never had a weight issue. You were ready to go every training camp. You were ready, healthy and ready to go. What all went into that Fletch? just that professional attitude and how you took care of yourself over this stretch. Well, number one, honestly, learning my body, right? And number two, my trainer. Uh, I was the same guy that trained me 12 years ago, um, you know, when I started. As soon as I was my rookie year, Dion Hodges, um, you know, he's out in Vegas now, you know, training a bunch of the um, all pros, a bunch of, you know, top tier guys. But I was stuck with him for 12 years. And the one thing he always told me during the offseason was less, and more, less is more. And sometimes when he first told me, I really never understood it. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said, less is more. And, you know, after a couple of years of doing that, I, I, I kind of understood it and, and the way that he structured things in my offseason workouts, especially like getting into, you know, the, the years that eight, ninth, tenth, you know, those those upper years in the league, um, understanding it and trusting trust his process. And it, all it did was, was take care of me and make sure I played at a high level all the time. You know, Fletcher, this team has made a lot of news in the free agency period. But even before that, Jason Kelsey saying, you know what, just like you, uh, time – we're moving on at this point. Have you given thought about the two of you guys potentially going into the Hall of Fame together? That's 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 been some thought. You know, we we both retired at the same time. Hopefully, you know, they're knocking on our door at the same time, right? Um, you know, it would be very special to both of us go and obviously in the Eagles Hall of Fame, get our numbers retired, and, and then go to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, um, which would be special to do it with a guy that I've spent a lot of time with in locker rooms, um, game days, you know, the high emotions, low emotions, mixed emotions. Um, it don't matter. Um, just a lot of respect for, for, for Kelsey and, you know, the way that he played the game, and that's why I respect him so much. Fletcher, I, I feel like I know the answer to this question, but I, I know that Part of you leaving right now is, A, I'm, I'm leaving at the top of my game. I'm healthy. But the other part is 
I feel like you think the Eagles are in good hands at your position with Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, some of the young guys that are there. You're leaving them in good hands. You've helped mentor those guys. You believe in their abilities. Was that is that part of like you now go being a retired player looking looking ahead to seeing how these guys become like the next real pros in Philadelphia? Oh yeah, absolutely. And those relationships, those relationships with with Jalen and, and, and Jordan, um, they're going to continue. Um, I mean, I still be around. I still be around Novacare training camp. Uh, you know, their off season stuff. Just watching those guys and just continue to help them grow. Right, continue to help them learn how to be pros. They're still young. They're still, you know, Jordan third year, Jalen second year. They're still trying to find their way. And, you know, I'm, I'm still looking forward to to help coach those guys and be there for those guys and, and any other young guys, Marlon, Milton, you know, um, Ojomo, who's I think who's an underrated player that, that plays his balls off. Uh, but, you know, the biggest thing is I'll be around. Um, and like I said, the coaches, Nick, I asked me, you know, was I be, would I be around and all that? Of course I'll be around um, to get my fix every now and then. But at the same time, I want to be able to help those young guys. Hey, Fletcher, before we let you get going, Baldy brought this up in our production meeting, and, and we're running short on time, so I have to ask you about it. Um, Saquon Barkley, Jason Kelsey made a comment, and, and Baldy, you probably can paraphrase it better than I could, but the point is it's like, damn, like, we got a dude now. I kind of wish I was playing with him. Is it weird knowing, like, yo, like, we got an absolute stud coming out of that backfield, and I'm saying goodbye? I'm excited for the team. The, ha the move that's how he's making, I'm, I'm really excited for him, and trust me, I'll be there to cheer him on. <laughs> Fletcher, you're the best man. Up, Congratulations. A, a career that's well documented as one of the best in the league. And I know Philadelphia fans certainly appreciate all your hard work. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me.